Hey, welcome back to thedrinker.co.uk with me, Pete Turner, for another one of my seasonal roundups of the supermarket wines in the season. We're talking about the winter 23 going into the spring of 2024. In this little film, I'm looking at the wines I've picked from Waitrose. Um, really, really good wines at Waitrose. Not all high-end stuff. And like all of these films, none of the wines in any of them are more than £10 in cost. Do go back and look at my previous Waitrose ones and also the previous seasonal ones from all the supermarkets because some of the wines are still on there and still really, really good and great value. So here we go. So I've got four uh, to start with from the Loved and Found range at Waitrose. This is a relatively new introduction. Um, Loved and Found is um, grape varieties and regions that you would not necessarily be familiar with. Um, and they do really, really interesting things. Quite often though, the loved and found range aren't on the shelves with the regular wines. They put them on those little stands just uh, outside. So so do, uh, if you can't see them on the shelves, do have a look on the little little round stand things that they have in Waitrose. So there you go. So um, first four are from loved and found. And first up, this is 8 99 It's the Barbera from the Loved and Found range. It comes in at 12.5%. Now, Barbera is a great variety, most often associated with Piedmont, and particularly Asti in Northern Italy. This one comes from Australia, from Riverina in New South Wales in Australia. Um, so the climate there is really quite hot summers, but quite uh, cool winters, but the sun shines all year round. And there's a lovely um, uh, black cherry, and I want to say sort of not tobacco leaf. Yeah, tobacco leaf, cigar, the outer leafing of a cigar. Yeah, like an unsmoked cigar on the nose. Mmm. And that becomes quite intense uh, bramble and spice and cedar. And it's, um, it's not smoky, but it is really intense stewed fruit, quite complex, quite concentrated good high acidity it's a lovely lovely wine that's a very very classy wine i'm not sure you can see it um uh, close up but there we are um from the loved and found range so that's their barbera much more feels much more approachable than the northern italian ones slightly less bitter black cherry slightly less tannic structure to it but really approachable lovely stuff okay so next up Again, as I say, from the Loved and Found range, this is Turiga Nacional. You might know the grape. Um, it's predominant in port. And this uh, does come from Portugal, but it comes from right in the south of Portugal, from the Algarve. It's 8 dollars and 14%. And it's good, dark, jammy stuff. And it's, yeah, pretty intense on the nose. There is a little bit of black smoke, a little bit of vanilla, um, a little bit of black fruit about it. Yeah, it's uh, complex and interesting. You can keep going back to that one. Real proper winter warmer of a wine. It's got that sort of port element to it. Mmm. Mmm, and the port bit really persists in the mouth, but clearly without the port sweetness. There's some lovely structure to it. Good tanning, a little bit mouth drying, but it's lovely and big and brambly and much, much more intense stewed fruit than the, than the Barbera really intense really well extracted it's ripe and rich and there's a little hint of cocoa and licorice on the end so you really really lovely wine at 8.99 that's very very classy proper winter warmer real treat of a wine there lovely stuff okay so next along this is carignan blanc it comes from the south of france from the mediterranean in the south of france Carignan is a red grape variety. Carignan Blanc is a, a mutation of that grape and it comes out as a white wine. It's beautifully pale and interesting. And there's a lovely little hint of uh, talcum powder and almond blossom. Mmm, mmm. And that becomes lemon. And there's something extra in there. I want to say apricot. It's a little nutty. It's a beautiful wine, very expressive, very open. A lovely, lovely wine. And to think that's only eight ninety nine is an absolute crackerjack. So there you go, Carignan Blanc from the south of France. Loved and found. And the last loved and found one, this comes from Ribeiro in uh, northwestern Spain in Galicia. Galicia. And this is Trexedura. I'll put the uh, all the all the information in the box below on YouTube. Trixidura, I don't think I don't know if that's how it's pronounced, but that's how it looks. Again, it's 899. 
and it comes from northern Spain. Quite cool, um, I won't say cool, but certainly a, a more moister atmosphere than we associate with the south and the southeast of Spain. And there does feel a little bit of sort of summer meadow about it and green grass. Mmm, mmm. Yeah, and there, there is some tropical fruit there, maybe some apricot, maybe sit, little hints of unripe peach. Beautiful, beautiful wine. Eight ninety nine for a wine that we're not familiar with Trexidura, um, so not much of it grown, I'm told. So very well worth looking at. Really interesting wine. Okay, next along. This is just called Italia Pina Grigio Rosé. Comes from Pavia in northern Italy, just south of Milan. So it's Pinot Grigio predominantly. There's probably something else in there as well. It's a lovely looking pink wine. And that's really lovely raspberry, light, lifted, elegant raspberry. Mmm. And that raspberry on the palate is joined by some strawberry. It's dry and fresh and light and pretty. And 7 99s worth. I think it's a really beautiful looking wine. Great party wine for the festive season. So have a bit, a bit of that. Beautiful, beautiful wine. Light, simple, fresh, elegant, pretty, but enough fruit character to keep it interesting. And last of all, I think I've had this on here before. This is Waitrose Carver. Carver really is back in, in business now. There was a lot of very poor Carver made. It's really improved um, in the last sort of 10 years. And this is Carver Brut, $7.99 from the Blueprint range. I'm not sure if they still call it the Blueprint range, but it's still got the same label on it. And it's lovely and persistent fizz. And there's a beautiful um, Biscoff biscuit nose to it. Mm. Yeah, and that Biscoff persists on the on the palate with a little bit of um, oh, what am I looking for? Green apple, and there's there's some there's some lemon freshness to it. It's beautiful, simple, drinks really well on its own. Would make a great cocktail fizz if you if you're making fizzy cocktails over the Christmas period or any time of year really. So there you go. That's my seasonal six from Waitrose. Do enjoy. Do check them out. They're fabulous people. They do know, really know what they're doing. Um, check out my TikTok vids. Uh, we're also on Instagram. Search at Drinkersite on all the socials. Um, let me know what you're drinking. Give us a like, share and follow and enjoy your wine now. Cheers.